Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick little video on uh, how, to, how to modify these connectors that come with these micro receivers and also go plugs into these micro connectors on the flight controllers. I get this question a lot in the comments and how I make these connectors. Usually I just cut and solder wires and um, if I find a connector that's the right size I can rearrange the wires and then uh, put them together. I'm going to show you an example of of what I'm going to do here in terms of changing the receiver. I'm going to change from this Free Sky micro receiver to this Fly Sky micro receiver. The connector here is a little bit of a different pitch than the one that's on this one, so I can't just unplug it here and plug it in here. I need to uh, make a, another uh, connector wire here that's going to be compatible with this connector on, on this receiver. And the way you do that is you look at the end of the connector and you can line up say like when I have this other connector here from I think this is from a 4 one AC I'm not using and I want to basically take these wires because the, what you need is the the wires that go or they go into this uh, connector here I'm going to pull those out and switch them and I'll show you how to do that but you want to see you want to make sure that your connectors are the correct pitch and if you take the end of the connectors and line them up next to each other like so you'll see that the um, holes are lined up like that if it's a different connector like the one that's actually in this receiver here is a different pitch it won't line up and so I'll show you here it's actually a bigger pitched connector and you can see that the holes don't line up here so what I'm going to do is I, I need to make basically this one goes into the, into the flight controller and the same pitch connector is actually used in the fly sky receiver it actually goes in you can test it that that'll actually fit I think it goes in this way actually sorry it goes the other way like so but I need one for the flight controller end and one for the receiver end and then since I know that the connector type is the same and that these the pitch is the same as I line these up I know that if I pull these wires out of here and then put them in into the same type of connector uh, I can then uh, connect these two components together the flight controller and uh, the receiver so I happen to have another one of these connectors around here. This is a 4-pin. I think that either a 4-pin or a 3-pin will work in the um, receiver because I'm only using the first three, the ground, the uh, positive voltage, and then the IBUS, SBUS port. The, I'm not using the fourth pin, which is PPM. So you can use either a 4 or a 3-pin connector for your flat sky receiver. The way you pull these wires out is it's pretty easy. You just have to use like an X-Acto knife. And I just like use the tip of the X-Acto knife like so, and you just lift up the tab. You don't want to lift it up too much. You probably want to practice on some connectors that you don't care about breaking. But you want to pull up on it a little bit, and that releases that tab that's holding it in, and then the wire will just pull and it'll, it'll come out. So that little tab right there is actually grabbing onto the end of this little notch here. It holds it in. So this, I'm not going to be using this wire. This is a, just a, for a demo. It'll be pulling out all the wires from here. And, um, three of them, because I only need three. And then we're plugging them into the corresponding spots I need for here. Obviously, these aren't the traditional colors for uh, ground uh, and voltage so I'll just uh, rand I'll just assign a color for voltage I'll probably make an orange voltage and uh, I'll make the blue ground and maybe the yellow signal so so you just basically do the same thing I'm gonna pull these wires out you just take your exacto knife and then you just kind of gently stick it underneath there and lift it up it just takes some amount of practice sometimes it's better to go in from the other side here you don't want to force it this is a bit tricky to do 
through the camera. There we go. So you get underneath, then you should be able to pull the wire out. I want to force it. There it goes. So if it, because you want to be able to reuse this connector here. Actually, I'm not, I'm not actually reusing this. So I might use it for something else later, but you don't want to damage the little notch here that's, that's going to hold it in for the next connector. And so, uh, to put them in, you have to make sure that that notch is on the side where the tabs are. And then you just slide it into one of the holes and then it'll just push it all the way in and it'll, it'll lock it in place. So uh, I'm going to basically move all these wires over and I'll show you what the final connector looks like. Okay, so I removed those wires from this connector here. This is a four pin connector. As you can see, they both match up. And uh, I need to have my ground on the left and the positive voltage there right next to it. There's going to be a blank one. The third one is empty, and then the signal is going to be on the far right. So I'm going to put the, make the blue the ground. And that's going to be on the left side of the connector with the flat side facing us. So it's going to be over here. If I flip it over, it's going to be on the right side. And I usually use some like little tweezers here to so like push that in at the very end. And then you can see that it's locked in place and it's not going to, it moves, but it's, it, that tab is going to hold it in place. So there's my ground. There we go. And then the last one is going to be signal. Okay, so now I got, this is the other side of the connector with the tabs facing us now. And you can see how I've put those wires back in there. They should fit just fine because it's the same pitch. And I'm going to do the same same thing on the other side for the receiver. And this is the uh, flight controller end. Okay, so on the receiver end, I'm going to be using just a 3-pin connector, even though the connector on the receiver is a 4-pin connector. So I'm not using that last pin and as long as it's the same pitch it'll still fit so here I'll show you it doesn't have any wires but you want to make sure you're putting it in with the correct orientation so this would be with the tabs facing us uh, it, it doesn't go in the other way because the there's a little notch here on the side that corresponds to one over here in the connector that basically makes it a keyed connector so it won't, it won't go in the other way, so you have to make sure that your wires are in the correct order. So the ground and then the positive and then the signal is on the bottom, so ground's at the top. So knowing that, I'm going to hold it like so. And then do the same thing. Uh, my blue is the ground here.
Okay, so now I've transferred the wires over to these two connectors. I can now use this for my uh, micro receiver and for this particular this particular flight controller. And uh, obviously, your situation might be different with different types of connectors. There's uh, different pitches and stuff. So, but the same principles will apply in terms of uh, releasing the wire and taking, move, move, lifting that tab up, so that um, you can remove the wire and put it into a different connector. So. This is going to go in like so. And then the other end goes into the flight controller. Just like that. So obviously your wires are going to be some different lengths. You might have to do some cutting and soldering of wires. Um, but uh, that's actually pretty easy compared to dealing with all these connectors. I actually save all of mine. I have a bag here of just a bunch of wires and connectors I save from various flight controllers that I don't use. And then I could reuse those later if I need to. Either the wires or the connectors. And I try, I try and save the silicone ones because they're they're easier to, to work with they're, 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 versus the plastic ones I tend to just throw those away so if you save all these connectors you can reuse them for these type of little projects here where you need a, uh, a receiver connector for your flight controller and it's 74 pin on some of the uh, bigger flight controllers they're on these like um, 8 pin connectors and you just have to you, just have to, you know, obviously for the UART you just need 3 the power and the signal so Anyway guys, hope this video was helpful for you. This is going to be another one of my reference videos. And uh, hopefully I can point you guys to this one when you guys ask questions. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.